Game Zone with John Adler on Cam Plan Radio. Baby franchises are often a letdown in the video game world. Mad Max, however, in my opinion, bucks that trend. Over two years in the making, this game is massive and the graphics are stunning. It's a massive open world sandbox game and it's certainly value for money as you could easily have 80 plus hours of gameplay and still not 100% complete it. Currently, I have just short of 48 hours of game time and have, and have only completed 40% of the game. There's just so much to do in it. There's, in those 48 hours I've played, I've only played 8 story missions. There's so much to distract you from the main story missions, from taking over camps to collecting scrap and taking part in death runs, which is car racing basically. The fight mechanic in the game is fantastic and there's a great RPG element in the game as well where you can board, board up your character and your car. Some would say that it's very repetitive, but for me that's not a big issue. I can just get lost in this massive world and lose hours at a time of it. With so many big games coming out these last couple of months, this is very much underdog and is underrated, but for me this is my game of the year. Mad Max and the PS4.